Accordion Theory of Rent UGC Net Question Answered At times, two or more options of the multiple choice type of questions appear to be correct. But only one is the correct answer. How to choose answer option becomes a problem for you. For example, look at this question. According to Ricardian theory, rent is option A. Difference of product of superior land and inferior land. B. Difference of income between smaller formats and bigger formats. C. Surplus of product of all categories of land above the marginal land. D. None of this. While answering question, one is tempted to choose option A. Because we know pretty well that rent is earned by superior land over inferior land. This is what option A says. It is correct. But look at option C, which is not only correct, but is more accurate, precise in defining rent. We shall see how. Kindly recollect the example cited by David Ricardo. There are three grades of land. First grade land is the most fertile land. Second grade land is less fertile than first grade land. Third grade land is least fertile. The first group of settlers go to the island. They cultivate the first grade land and produce corn. The cost of cultivation is equal to revenue. Look at this graph. O P E M is the cost of cultivation. O P E M is revenue. Revenue just covers the cost of cultivation. No surplus, no rent. Hence, first grade land is marginal land. The second group of settlers go to the island. Its immediate effect is on demand for corn. The price of corn goes up from P to P1. The first grade land is more intensively cultivated. Its output increases from M units to M1 units. Its cost of cultivation is O, T, S, M1. Its revenue is O, P1, E1, M1. It earns a surplus of T, P1, E1, S. The second grade land is also brought under cultivation because the price is high enough to cover the cost of cultivation. It produces n units of output. Its cost of cultivation is O, P1, E3, N. Its revenue is also O, P1, E3, N. Since cost is just equal to revenue, it earns no surplus and hence no rent. Second grade land is marginal land. First grade land is intramarginal land. Intramarginal land earns rent. Third group of settlers go to the island. It pushes the corn price further up. Corn price moves up from P1 to P2. First grade land is cultivated more intensively than before. Its output is M2. The cost of cultivation is O, T1, S1, M2. Its revenue is O, P2, E2, M2. It earns a rent of T1, P2, E2, S1. Second grade land is intensively cultivated. It produces N1 units of corn now. Its cost is O, T2, S2, N1. Its revenue is O, P2, 
E4, N1. Second grade land becomes intramarginal land. It earns a surplus. Its rent is T2, P2, E4, S2. Third grade land is brought under cultivation because the price is high that enables the cultivators to cover the cost of cultivation. Its cost of cultivation is O, P2, E5, Q. Its revenue is also O, P2, E5, Q. Revenue equals cost. Hence, third grade land earns no rent. It is marginal land. Well, Apply the option C now. It says surplus of product of all categories of land above the marginal land. Yes, third grade land is the marginal land. Surplus product earned by first and second grade lands are rent. Hence, option C is correct. This answer is more accurate in defining rent. So your choice must be option C. Our discussion ends here. We shall meet in the next video lesson. Vanakkam.